Hey y'all, today I'll be showing you how I did these jumbo passion braids using some hair that I got from two different Amazon hair companies. So if you're interested in watching, go ahead and stay tuned. Say I'm proud of you. You don't have bumps in Africa. and welcome to styles by honey if you're new here welcome to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tap that bell so you don't miss any notifications and if you're a returning subscriber you already know you lit welcome back to my channel okay so today i'll be doing some jumbo passion braids and i'll be using some passion twist hair that i got from elier on amazon um this is their Elier 7 Packs Passion Twist Hair, 18 inch water wave ombre crochet hair, curly cankalon braiding hair, synthetic goddess faux lock hair long bohemian dreadlocks braid hair extensions in the color T30. And I'll also be using some pre stretched braiding hair from Soraya. This is their Soraya Yaki Braid Pre Stretch Braiding Hair. Professional itch free ombre color 26 inch 8 packs low temperature synthetic fiber Yaki texture braiding hair in the color T1B30 and I have more hair information and the links to these hair in the description box below if you're interested All right, so I'm gonna start off by using some of my honey butter babe um, natural hair butter Available at stylesbyhoney.com if you want to check that out link in the description box and I'm gonna put that all over my hair um, so that I can blow it out some more just so that it's manageable for me to braid down all right so I ended up with 17 um, jumbo passion braids and I have four rows um, I couldn't really part it like from this angle so i went ahead and started it off camera and this is my first time ever doing some braids this size or doing some braids this big in my own hair so i had to get the hang of it and yeah so i started off with grabbing a section of my hair and detangling it from the root to the ends then i grabbed my she's bomb collection edge control um, to smooth down the hair in the part. All right, so now that my hair is smoothed down, I'm gonna go ahead and start braiding it like a knotless braid. So I got the three sections of my hair and added a piece then crisscross added a second side add another section crisscross i don't really know how to explain it um i have a knotless braid tutorial if you're interested in watching there's a card and a link for it in my description box below okay so i started off the knotless braid with the pre-stretched hair and i came down like about three or four times and then that's when I started adding the pieces of passion twist hair. I started adding one or two at a time, depending on how thick the knotless braid was already. You could pick your hair as you go. Like you could pick the pre stretch hair and you could pick the passion twist hair as you go. But I think it would be faster like if you stretched out the passion twist hair and sectioned out the pre-stretched braiding hair um, before you started like that would speed up the process a little bit more now once i got down to the end of my natural hair i used some more edge control to smooth it down and tuck it underneath the passion twist and pre-stretched braiding hair and i was also braiding down with like a tight grip tucking my natural hair underneath once i was done and got past my natural hair, I began to like loosen up my grip so that the braid could be fluffy. And I'm not the creator of this hairstyle. Um, I saw this hairstyle on Instagram. Shout out to the braider that created this hairstyle. 
Um, if I find her, I'll put her information in my description box. Um, I believe she's the one that calls them um, butterfly knotless, or I don't know. But I'll put it in my description box if I find it. Shout out to her. <laughs> And this is what they're looking like so far. Um, to be honest, I wasn't too fond of this hairstyle when I first saw it on Instagram, but it's growing on me. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and do a few more on camera. Well, I'm gonna finish up on camera, um, but I'm gonna speed it up and I'm gonna stop talking. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to tap that bell so you don't miss any notifications. Enjoy the video.
So these are what my passion braids are looking like so far. And now I'm gonna grab my She's Bomb collection edge control and bomb glue to lay my edges. Right, so now that I'm done with my edges, I'm going to go ahead and put some foam um, to tame down the frizz of the Passion Twist hair. Um, these braids don't need any hot water dipping or anything, so that's good. Now the hairstyle is done. <laughs> now, I got a total of 17 braids. Um, it took me about five hours um, to do this. Um, I did take a little bit of breaks. Um, but it was fairly simple to do. I would recommend a beginner to use um, rubber bands. That might be easier. But yeah, I really like this hairstyle. So big shout out to Amazon hair company Elyar for the passion twist hair and Soraya for the pre-stretched braiding hair. And big shout out to you for supporting Styles by Honey. Thanks so much for watching my video today, guys. I love you so much. Mm-hmm.